Hello everybody. So, um, today's Sunday. I was just thinking um, before I started recording that I'm pretty sure I don't ever actually have nice looking hair when I make these videos. <laughs> it's because it's Sunday and it's the weekend and I didn't have to work today so I didn't really get ready too much today. But that's okay. That's besides the point. It doesn't matter what I look like. It matters what we're talking about. So, today I am in my kitchen. Da -da -da. Uh, it's kind of messy, so just ignore that. I'm going to clean that after I'm done putting all the groceries away, so that's why I am doing this video right now, as I just went grocery shopping. And for those of you that know me, I don't grocery shop. Never. I'm terrible at it because I always come home with everything under the sun, and you can't cook a single meal with it. <laughs> and it's all snacks or just things that I happen to be craving at the time that I go to the grocery store. So... I'm not allowed to do it typically, but my hubby's working tonight, and the only way we're gonna get some groceries is if I went to the store. So I planned it out. I decided what meals I wanted or we were gonna have for the week, and then I made a list, and I actually stuck to the list, which was great. And I got some coupons, so bonus there. Uh, I'm just gonna go through. I realized in the last video that I just edited, I say um all the time. I tried to cut them out, and that's why it's really kind of choppy because I tried to cut out every single time I said the word um. So that is what I'm going to work on is not saying um. So I'm really, really, really sorry about that. I know it's really obnoxious. So the first part of this video is going to be my grocery store run um, or haul so you can kind of see what I got for the week. And I would say this is a pretty typical grocery run for me or for us, I should say. Uh, maybe a couple extras, but you know, those pregnancy cravings creep up on you. And there's a couple things I've been wanting for a long time and decided that I was gonna get them for the week. So, second half of this video is going to be just a couple tips about how to start your week off right. I know weekends are always really tough for a lot of people and things like that, so I figured that was a great topic to talk about. So, here we go, here's the groceries. All right guys, so here's the grocery haul. Got everything out of the bags. I'm gonna go through it pretty quick just because I don't have a lot of storage space left on my phone here. So first things first, um, I've been really craving tuna macaroni salad lately, so I got some tuna, some light mayo, and some just pasta macaroni shells for that. Um, good old pregnancy cravings. Um, apples, just for snacks, I love them with peanut butter. Celery, biscuits onions, and rotisserie chicken. That is gonna be for my chicken dumpling soup and homemade bread is cooking in the bread maker as we speak. For those of you guys that know me, you know I'm not Betty Crocker. I can't cook to save my life, so this is really kind of a special evening because I'm actually cooking. Jesse's working tonight, so I do the grocery shopping and the cooking, and I actually came home with stuff to make meals, which is great, I typically don't. So it was a successful grocery trip. I also grabbed some fajita seasoning mix as we have a bunch of chicken in the freezer. We'll make some fajitas this week, so we've got onions for that as well. Peppers left over in the fridge. Got cheese for that. It was buy one, get one free, so I had to get two. You can always freeze your cheese too, by the way. The last longer if you freeze it in the freezer versus trying to eat it all at one time. Uh, light sour cream, just for the fajitas, typically, I would use like a Greek yogurt, but they sell them in such huge tubs. And I mean, I guess I could have bought like the little individual serving sized ones, but this really kind of depends. You know, if you're looking to get less fat, you can go with that. But I got the light sour cream, so it's to me, it's kind of a wash. There's just not as much protein in the sour cream. Uh, like I said, refried beans to go with the fajitas. And then I just got some black beans here, three cans. Those I love to do with um, rice. So just cook rice in my rice cooker. Uh, some beans heated over the stove. Heat that in the microwave. It's great left over. I'll put salsa and guacamole on top. It's like a little taco bowl, burrito bowl, whatever. And you can throw some chicken in there if you want. Uh, lately, I haven't been a super huge fan of chicken. It's been one of those things that I kind of had a food aversion to. So it's hit or miss. It really depends. Um, I got the Nature Valley soft baked oatmeal squares. This banana bread and chocolate flavor is amazing. Now, I mean, the macros and the calories on there, one bar, they're pretty small. Six fat, 23 carb, two protein, so really not a lot of protein in them, and there's definitely sugar, but 
You guys know me, I'm a flexible dieter, so I believe that you can fit anything into your diet as long as it's in moderation. And that's one of those things, they're a nice little treat to have um, when you're looking for something sweet. So, saltine crackers, a must have in every pregnant girl's diet. <laughs> uh, they're great if I don't eat when I get hungry. I get really bad stomach pains and get nauseous. So, those are really nice to have on hand and they were on sale too. Ground turkey, I wasn't actually planning on getting ground turkey today, but they were on sale for $2.99 a piece for the 93.7 um, fat percentage. So that's pretty awesome. Typically I get the 85.15 because it's cheaper, but they were on sale, so got some of those. Uh, the yogurt that I like and I get is the either Greek Whips or Greek Light and Fit. Um, this one, strawberry banana is really good. I got blueberry. I actually meant to get peach regular yogurt, but I ended up getting peach whips. But that's all right. The whips are really good. They taste kind of like whipped cream. So those are super tasty. I know they're, you know, have artificial sweetener in them and sugar. But, you know, lately, plain Greek yogurt hasn't been a huge thing I've really wanted, I guess. I haven't been super into it lately. And it a lot of times just goes to waste. So if I'm not going to eat a lot of it, I'm not going to buy a lot of it. It's, you know, the thoughts there. It's great to eat. Put it in my smoothies and stuff, but I got some new protein powder for that. So I'm going with these guys for now. Uh, carrot juice, I put that in my smoothies for some extra veggies because I know I don't get enough. Also, side note about the celery, that's going to go in my soup. But I'm not going to use all of that celery. So the rest of it I'm going to have left over and put it in my smoothies. And I'll let you guys know how that tastes. The last couple things I got here, tortilla chips. Another thing that's kind of nice to snack on for me sometimes, but they, I mean, there's a lot more fat in them than the saltines. Those I got specifically for the fajitas and the beans. Because I do like to have a couple tortilla chips with my rice and beans when I make them. Uh, these guys, I've been wanting frosted, you know, they're, they're, they say frosted mini spooners, but I've been wanting frosted mini wheats for like two weeks. And they had them on sale for like $3 for this gigantic bag. And so I decided to finally break down and get them. So, like I said, everything's good in moderation, you guys. You know, if you're tracking your calories and your macros, as long as it fits in your macros, go for it. You know, you're not, I'm not going to eat, you know, three bowls of this every single day. I'm probably going to have one, you know, a week or one every three to four days or something like that. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to watch my portion sizes. So... Last two things, we'll skip the froyo for now. I got eggs. We buy the 18 packs as we go through so many of them. I typically do one whole egg to three to four egg whites, and it's cheaper to buy them in the package like this than it is to buy the liquid egg whites. So we just do that. And last but not least, I'm so excited for this. We tried this frozen yogurt about a week and a half or two weeks ago. It's frozen yogurt. Believe it or not, chocolate caramel brownie. It is amazing. Just look at those yummy brownie chunks with all the caramel ribbon inside. So good. Now, same thing with this, guys. I have a sweet tooth. I love ice cream. Just ask anyone that knows me. Looking at a half a cup serving. Actually, 65 grams is quite a bit. When you measure it out, I recommend using a scale because when you use a measuring cup, I mean, it, you have to like pack it in there and it's really kind of awkward when you're doing, especially for your ice cream. So I always recommend using a scale. Um, 65 grams is actually quite a bit and that gives you only 130 calories, three and a half fat grams, 22 carbs, and three protein. So if you save your macros and save your carbs, um, you could easily have, you know, two servings of that, which is quite a bit for only 44 carbs. Again, I don't eat frozen yogurt every single day. Um... I probably won't eat the Froyo and the mini wheats on the same day. Well, I guess you never really know. It depends on what I'm feeling. <laughs> but, I mean, plan accordingly. If you know you're going to want to treat later in the day, plan ahead. Have more of these types of things. The vegetables. I don't have a ton of veggies here, really. We have some in the fridge. We've got some broccoli left over. Big bag of that. Some peppers. Some carrots. So go for your vegetables um, if you know that you're going to want some of the treats later on and save up those calories, save up those carbs. Just be aware of your serving sizes. Like I said, I'm gonna do a second part to this video, or I did a second part to this video, and we're gonna talk about something you can do real quick and easy in order to just get started on your nutrition if you're looking for the basics. So, here we have it before I run out of storage space, grocery run for the week, like I said, all that was 80 bucks. I think I did a pretty good job. 
If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything of that sort, just feel free to let me know. Hope you guys have an awesome Sunday and have a great week. Hi, everybody. Um, so today's Sunday. Actually, it's Sunday evening. You can tell it's kind of dark in the house here. And I've kind of already dropped the ball because my goal was to actually do videos like once a week. And maybe I should change that to like once every two weeks. Uh, because it's just been a little crazy the last week and a half. I finished up one of my classes, started a new one. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I am studying for my fitness nutrition specialist test. And that's coming up, needing to finish that um, in the next week. And so things are just getting a little crazy. So um, I'm just sitting here, finished up some homework, working on a couple stuff or a couple things for my clients. Um, and thought perfect opportunity to do a little video clip. So this one isn't going to be a long one, um, but I just wanted to, sorry, the flashing is the TV that's on. I just muted it so there wasn't any volume in the background. Um, two things I want to just briefly talk about. Um, the first one is Sundays are kind of a bittersweet day to a lot of people um, and to me, but I'm working on changing my thought or I'm working on changing um, my mindset and how I think about it. Um, you know, Sundays are a day where people are like, oh, it sucks. It's back to work. Um, tomorrow's Monday. It has a really negative connotation. And I want to challenge you guys to think differently that when Sunday comes around, um, think about it as an opportunity to refocus and regenerate or rejuvenate yourself for the week. You know, it's a chance to um, kind of restart. If if you had a bad week, a bad weekend, um, it's, it's a chance to start new. And I encourage you to set goals. Set small goals. You know, not like, oh, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this week or I'm going to, you know, meal prep every single day, um, you know, just to start small. Something like, I'm going to go to the gym three times this week. Or, I'm going to only eat out once during the week at work for lunch. Um, something like that. Something small, something attainable, something measurable, of course. And then reevaluate on Friday or Saturday and look back at you. We can see how you did. Um, a really helpful tip as well is to write your goals down. So write them in your planner. Put them in a note on your phone. Um, tell a friend. Tell a family member. Tell somebody uh, about your goal. It's going to be a lot easier for you to stick to that goal um, if you actually verbalize it out loud and tell people about it. So number one thing for the week is just to set some small goals to help yourself um, kind of start new again for that week. The second thing, um, nutrition. A lot of people ask me, you know, where do I start with my nutrition? Do I count my calories? Do I track my macros? Um, you know, do I get a scale? What should I do? Um, my biggest suggestion for starting to focus on nutrition is start small, okay? If you try and change everything that you're eating and eat super clean and do chicken and rice and broccoli six times a day, you're going to quit by Wednesday because, number one, you're going to get sick of eating chicken. Number two, um, it's just really overwhelming to try to change everything at once. So I recommend looking at your portion sizes first and foremost. Okay? Look at your portion sizes. Um, start looking at nutrition labels and look at what a serving actually is in certain foods. Um, you know, you'll be super, super surprised at what a serving of rice is um, versus what a serving of vegetables is, uh, what a serving of cereal is um, versus, you know, maybe making protein waffles or Kodiak cakes or, or something of that sort. Um, so just start looking at your serving sizes. Watch, you know, how many cups of veggies you have. Um, watch how much of the whole grains versus starchy carbs versus fruits and vegetables that you're having. Um, and just really focus on your portion sizes. Um, I think that that will be, and I know actually that that will be a huge starting point for people, um, just simply watching at how much you're eating and the serving sizes that you're eating.